What happened in the stands, not out on the court, is the big talk in Flower Mound. Yeah, during the varsity game against Plano East Friday night, students held up signs that read white power, and now the Flower Mound superintendent is addressing the issue. Fox Sports' Calvert Collins joining us from McKinney, where Flower Mound played tonight. Calvert. And Heather, I spoke to quite a few Flower Mound parents, none of whom wanted to really go on camera except one who you'll see in our story coming up. But many of them are calling this just a misunderstanding or an untimely picture that maybe shows what, it, what wasn't implied. But it is those racial implications that has now garnered national news thanks to social media. Plano East parents say that if the students were wrong, if that is found to be the case, then they want them reprimanded. As far as like, uh, you know, any like, Racial tones. I, I didn't. I didn't get that. You know, just that uh, it was a very intense game. Three overtimes and a win by a basket in a district game, but it was the actions of Flower Mound students that overshadowed the victory on home court. I thought that was very disrespectful, to be honest. I mean, I didn't think a school would do that, or I didn't think the school would even let their students do that. In the student section, opposing fans saw visible signs that read white power, a picture that immediately started trickling through Twitter accounts, retweet after retweet. Even the Jaguars coach tweeted unacceptable. As head coach of FMHS, I offer our full voice apology. I will pursue this fully. No place for this. It's 2015 and we shouldn't have these type of issues. Like many Plano East students, seniors Madison and Allison Compass found out about the incident on social media. They say their principal addressed sportsmanship in a pep rally this morning. The way we should win is like winning with class. Like he was repeating it a lot and everybody just applauding him. Flower Mound is part of Louisville ISD. The interim superintendent released a statement today saying in part, I want to be clear that this type of incident, however it has been perceived, has not and will not be tolerated in LISD. Ultimately, please know we have the highest respect for the students, staff, and community of Plano East High School. Those kids, if they did do something like that, they should be reprimanded for it, you know, and whatnot, and we should just move on. Well, Louisville ISD will not tell us how much of their ongoing investigation and it, if it has revealed who the students behind these uh, signs were. Um, but the superintendent in his statement today did say they would act on any findings that were believed to be wrong. Steve. All right, Kevin, I know high school kids like to be edgy. They sometimes don't understand how the joke will be perceived outside their, their circle of friends. But another thing that's kind of been confusing is the colors, if it's the uniform colors or not, but Flower Mound's colors are, are navy and white, and, and they're, 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 Flower Mound signs are saying that is what the signs are about, and others are, are finding that hard to believe. What's, what's the word on that? Well, of course, uh, that's what we've been told by a lot of uh, Flower Mound students, at least on social media, saying, no, this is actually just part of our chant. Uh, navy, silver, and white are their colors, and maybe the picture didn't capture um, you know, the, the, all the colors being represented at once, saying that this was just part of a chant, that this is not, has, does not have any kind of racial implications, but that's just what it has been now perceived, which the superintendent mentioned in his statement um, as well. So it's really not clear at this point. Louisville ISD is not addressing that at this point. So um, it is uh, still a lot in question, but certainly a lot of folks on the Plano East side upset by these words or what they saw at the game, uh, confused initially, and then uh, that turned into more anger and uh, fear of disrespect. But Flower Mound's varsity boys team is, though, predominantly white, and Plano East has more players of color, but many people on both, uh, are at least on the Flower Mound side, saying that that isn't playing into what it, this picture captures. Okay. So we'll see. All right, Calvert, thank you.